So I've seen a bunch of tier lists on YouTube about pretty anything, like anything. There's probably a pretty, I don't know, paint taste tier list out there somewhere. But instead of doing that, that, that sort of thing, I'm going to do it about music because I don't know, I don't I wouldn't know what else to do it on to be honest. And I'm going to do one on Deep Purple Mark 1, the Mark 1 lineup, their songs, many because there's not a lot of them, so it's not going to take me too long. Whereas if I did all of these, it would take me all fucking day. So, I'm going to start from the top. Shades of Deep Purple album. Right. And the address. Honestly, best here. Richie Blackmore's guitar player on this is fucking great, man. It is only an instrumental track, but that's what makes it special. Next up, Hush. The big hit to these guys. S tier as well. There's a cover, but I mean, half of the, pretty sure like half of their first album is covers, because that's all they had. Right. One more rainy day. Hmm. I don't really come back to this one all that much. The organ in it is very good though. Hmm. B tier. Actually. I put in C. It's still alright. I'm so glad. Mm. I'll give it a B. It is a very old song, so the lyrics are very, very repetitive. <laughs> the song's nearly 100 years old, so I kind of have to cut them suck for that. Mandrake Root. One of my favourite Deep Purple tracks, to be honest. I'll pop up this in the nest here. Help. Honestly, the original version for this, the Beatles, because it's the Beatles who made this, honestly not that big of a fan, but the Purple's version, especially the alternate take that they did, where they pretty much entirely changed the feel of the song by like slowing it down, making it more melancholic type thing, and I'm a big sucker for that. So I'll give an A to you. Love help me. Don't really have much to say about this. I don't find myself listening if I listen to this album most of the time I just skip this. So yeah, I'll give it a C. It's not terrible. Hey Joel. S to you. Best version of the song, in my opinion. Especially the solo. I think Rod Evans' vocals on this are really great. <clears throat> the Book of Taliesin. Taliesin. I have no idea how to say that. Listen, learn, read on. I'll give it an A to you. Don't have much to say about it. It is a good song. Ring that neck. Another instrumental track. I'll see this is still pretty good, I'll give an A tier. Kentucky Woman. Neil Diamond song. I do not listen to Neil Diamond. <laughs> Never really tried it, but who knows I might like him. I do like this song though. Uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a B tier. It's perfect fine. We can work it out. Another Beatles song. Uh, I think this one's perfectly fine. I don't like it as much as these two, so I'll put a beat here. Next up, Shield. I've seen a lot of people say this is their one of their favorite Deep Purple songs. I am not one of those people. Not that I hear. I think it, I think it's fine. I'll give it a I'll give it a beat here. Right. Anthem. It's seriously beautiful song. S tier. 
world tour goals on this is just incredible. 38 mountain high. Pretty sure this is a cover two. Um, I will give it an 80. <laughs> Pretty 10 minutes bit over that song. <laughs> I saw that it got, for a single, it got shortened down to like two minutes, which I think is a crime. But yeah, how do you? Right, we're now on the self titled album. You'd think that their first album would be called Deep Purple, but not to decide to call their third album Deep Purple. Right. Chasing the Shadows. This song is absolutely great. I will give it an S tier. The, the drums and the bass in this song fucking just carry it. Absolutely great. <laughs> Next up, Blind. What a tune. Honestly, one of the, if there was just no singing, it was just the instrumental, I could listen to this all day long. So I'm going to put that in ST as well. Lilania. Oh. I think that's how you say it, Lilania. I don't know, man. Honestly, another beautiful song. Rod singing in this is just great. There's not much more I can say, it's just a beautiful track. I think it is a cover, but it doesn't make it any less of a song. So, S T is where that's going. Fault Line. Not too sure where I put this one, to be honest. It's an instrumental track. It's about, I don't know how long it is, it's like a minute or two minutes, something like that. It's got these, these sip. The, I'm pretty sure it's just the cymbals playing in reverse, and the organ is also playing in reverse. I think the guitar is doing like a distorted solo or something. I honestly don't know where I put it because it's not really a song. I mean, it's not even like on the address in the way that it's an instrumental. Because I don't know. I guess I'll. I guess I'll put in D tier. It's not really much of anything. If there was a like a tier, I should have made a tier. Just say I don't know where to put this, but that's where it's going. The painter. God, one of my favorites. God, I'm putting I'm putting so many of this third album in S tier, but God, I, I have to, man. This is my tier. That's my opinion. The painter. Just a absolutely great track. Why didn't Rosemary? Now that I'm reading this, it's kind of hard to actually read it, isn't it? Remember, this tailors did not put good colours on these. Yeah. Anywho, why didn't Rosemary? I oh, know why didn't you? Uh, I was going to put in this tier, but honestly, I need to put stuff in the lower tiers because otherwise this S tier is gonna have everything in there. So I'll put an A tier, still an absolutely great tune. Bird is flown. I am conflicted about this one. There are two versions of this. There is a uh, there's a version that's about five minutes long. Honestly, that version is, that version would, if it was just that version, it, it would be D tier. If I was wearing that version, it would be in D tier. But there was another version that's about two, three minutes. I think it's like an early version or something. Honestly, that version is great. So I'm going to pretend that this is the version that I like. I'll put it in D tier. April. Very weird track, but I'm pretty sure it's over 10 minutes this one. It's mostly instrumental, I think the vocals come in about like 8 minutes in or something. 
if I remember right, if my memory served me well. <laughs> and there's this very weird, like, Victorian or like, really old classical music segment. And then the drums come in about nine minutes in, along with the vocals. Uh, I will put this in here too, it's a great, it's a great track. Emeretta. I think, hmm. I'll put this in, in B tier. It's alright. Oh, now that, I'm, now that I'm looking at this, God, it's, it's like perfectly like, goes like, duh, 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 duh. there is one track that is not on here, unfortunately. Uh, what well, actually, probably favourite track from these guys from this lineup um oh no no i think it's gone oh it's oh no 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 i don't know how many notes it is but that would uh that would be s tier as well there there's the tier list i could save it but i cannot be asked so there you go might make more tier lists in the future probably Probably, I might do the rest of these, cause, but, but just look at all of them.